This is the Geekcraft review for Realm of Heroes. We played two games tonight, uh, both of them three player. In a three player game you have a six by six board with a, some mountains and some potential forests. In, our, in, in this game we actually only had three forests and then we will each be placing our leaders and our towers into our areas. All so right. I go first because I have the smallest, largest area. Of influence. So I'm going to put my leader there, and I'm going to put my tower here. And then it goes clockwise. I'm going to put my tower in this area over here. And the leader is going to go nearby today. And then Jim is going to stay in the corner and try and hide from the plague. The plague is the fun thing. Yes. So we played two full games earlier. Um, the first was very much a learning game and it did take us a little while. But I, I had played the game before, so what did you guys think of the game once you understood the rules? I understood. I, I really do like it. It definitely takes a game or two to really get into it. It's kind of high strategy. You got several facets with this plague always messing you up. It can keep you in a corner because this is all random, everything's random. The plague can corner you in a spot where it's always taken over and taken away your resource. And then people are taking away your resource and you always have to balance that. And uh, it's very quick playing and I, and I do enjoy that. Yeah. The plague is only in a two or three player game. Oh, okay. To be clear. Yeah. Um, because in a four player game, it's the players fighting for the resources rather than the game trying to combat same it. thing. Right. Yeah, and, but that's why the plague is there. Tension without it. Yeah, right. And, but yeah. that's why the plague is there. So for two and three players, it just comes across quickly. Uh, mastery and understanding comes shortly thereafter. It's pretty easy to grasp once you get the fundamentals. Everything yeah. kind of builds off of each other. So yeah, I, I think it's easier to learn than it looks at first. Um, I think the game is a lot of fun. There are some issues with it. There is a lot of randomness to at least the setup, which will turn some people off and can greatly influence how much some players, how well some players will do. But on that note, it is also fun at times to see how much you can do to overcome the odds that are against you, and it right. adds to the challenge of the game for some players. And, right, and it kind of rotates around just by random chance. Right, and I completely agree. It's just, yeah, I can hurt too. It was pretty fun to. To learn and, and, and play play with the, uh... now I can't think. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, fun to learn that all the different types you got. You got to remember you got to upgrade and and where that comes into play. You only get that one turn to upgrade your character or your tower to change the whole dynamic of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And that, especially the tower, I feel that changes a lot of what you do. The plague element is is. Adds, adds a little bit of a dynamic element to it because you've got one thing that is finite it's going to spread in a predictable manner and then you've got the other players that you have to account for human element and the you know choices they may make so right it, it totally it, it's going to totally change the game between that and, and playing without the plague right and because of the random setup because of the two three four and then with the expansion five to six player i think there's re a lot of replayability in the box yeah I think it's, you can play the same game with the same people like we did earlier, two games in a row, the game went very differently based on how much the I plague mean, actually affected us in that second the game. The first game we didn't build beyond probably the second layer right. uh, on the tree. And I mean, each game, you know, based on your original setup, you're going to have different resources at your disposal. How fast you can build into that will determine how far you go in the game and that will determine a lot of the uh, the end game. So right. Trying to cut the people off and build up, oh, yep. That's yeah. really hard to manage, and but it's very fun at the same time. Yeah. So I know I really enjoyed it, and I think you guys both did as well. I enjoyed it a great deal. It's you know like any mathematically based tile grid type game, you've got a lot of computation between the different areas and trying to figure out and cover yourself for different abilities that may come into play on the next turn. But it's it's kind of nice trying to play a game that you have to look farther ahead than most games mm -hmm. where you're playing a short game and trying to just grasp points quickly this you have to watch ahead and try to plan ahead for what you're going to be doing you know right. several turns from now right um, one of the other potential issues for this 
with this game for some people is going to be there is player elimination. I very think, quickly in some cases. In some cases, yes. Yes, yeah, very quickly. <laughs> but I think even with the player elimination, the games are short yeah. once you understand how it works. Um, I've been doing two player games of this in about 30 minutes. So it actually, once the players understand how the game works, the game really does pick up and play very quickly. And truthfully, we're feeding each other a lot of information as we're playing and helping each other with the computation, so it, it's not really, didn't feel dramatically longer with three players. No. So it's, it's... No. I think it probably even gets a little shorter the more players involved, maybe. To an extent. To an right. extent. Right. Aspects of it. But. Yeah. Right. There is room for analysis paralysis, right. like you had said Absolutely. earlier. Oh, um, yeah. But... Like you said, there but is you got a, a bunch of players that are all hawking over the table and can kind of help stay right. that bit too. So. Right. No, there is definitely room for coaching and for helping other players. So you know, I came in and I know how the game works and I know you know good strategies. Yeah. And I can kind of help you guys out. And in that second game, I think the, it really showed. Per the coaching comment too, you've got um, when there is player elimination, it's it's kind of more of a learning tool. The game plays quick enough that you don't feel, hey, I'm out of it, I'm not going to be playing forever. Yeah. I'll be back into it on the next game, and the game's I got something enough. out of that. Yeah. I got something out of the experience. Right. What did I do wrong? What can I do next game? And then you're watching the other players, and you're kind of seeing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. it, it's an opportunity to observe strategy also. So yeah. it's you'll be back in the game quick, and yeah. hey, uh, hopefully you get something out of it. Right. I think it's really a growing game. It's right. that first game, you're going to kind of clunk through it and things aren't necessarily going to make sense. Be a little bit sense. intimidated. Really. Yeah. Right. yeah, and things aren't going to necessarily make sense strategically. But yeah. as you build and as you play more games and you see how different players play it, I think it's really going to grow. It's definitely learning the buildings and what all the different pieces that go, which are in your other review right. and yeah. such. And Moving a guy into a ter uh, territory to seize the territory and then being able to move through it with a different guy. Yeah, And certainly it's, just being able to cut people off. You right. Know, with the, no, there's. The, it's yeah, a game the, of options. Yes, <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a lot going on, but at the same time, it's not that hard to pick up. So. No, it is not. Two games, we were into it. Yeah. Uh, and that. Right. And I enjoyed it. It's intuitive enough too that if you once you get it, you come back to it. You know, sometime later, it's it's pretty logical. You'll be, you'll pick it up again pretty yeah. quick with just a quick brush up. So. Yeah. So I think overall, it's a hit with the three of us. I'd say so. I'd play this again. Yeah. yeah, that's it's definitely one Certainly. I'm interested in. I got in a now, couple so people. I, would... I was I was apprehensive going into it, and I'm I enjoyed it greatly. Yeah. So. yeah, I got a couple people I'd like to play against just to you know run them off the board or whatever. You know, <laughs> you know, I've got a couple brothers. They, they they'd enjoy this, I yeah. think, and I would take this. Thing. Right. All right. So that's the review for Realm of Heroes by Geekcraft. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.